I'm Doug. I'm Jesse. 1983 Toyota Sun Raider. Beautiful motorhome we have here. We did a uh, complete renovation on it in the summer of 2020, right during COVID. Um, yeah, it was a uh, began just as a quick makeover and turned into a partial gut job, as you'll see in the remainder of the video. Um, learned a lot along the way. Uh, you'll see pretty much replaced all new appliances, rebuilt the floor, um, full paint, what else, floor. Brand new toilet, brand new sink, spigot, uh, new wiring, new plumbing. I did the majority of the rough work. She's the uh, designer of the project. Cosmetic. Cosmetic. Little touch on it. Um, otherwise, yeah, if there's any questions about anything you're about to watch, feel free to ask below. Um, you know, I've owned lots of Toyotas. I can help you with anything as far as motor, um, even motorhome. We've owned Warriors, we've owned Spirits, um, Sun Raiders. Any questions, feel free to ask. I've even done repairs on the fiberglassing. Yeah, fiberglassing is something new we learned along the way. We learned a lot of stuff. Uh, again, we weren't intentionally trying what to do this. What not to do. What not to do. Um, the hardest part was, again, in the summer of 2020, there was no parts to be found anywhere. Uh, we had to dig deep to find the right things. Or make our own parts. Or make our own. So yep. everything we did end up using, um, I'll be linking below. You can go ahead and take a look. Um, it was all relatively affordable for what we replaced. So again, any questions, feel free to ask. And Hey, I like your shirt. And we got the custom Sun Raider t-shirt. By me. And this is actually our old, uh, this is our warrior. warrior yeah. Our old warrior, uh, picture of the mountain, Yoda, explore more. Uh, you can buy those down below as well. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Excuse me. Coming through. Somebody went to come in. Just started our renovation. First step is ripping out the carpet. That one's broke. Is your light off? Yeah.
So, after removing the sofa, we ended up finding that the water heater had been leaking for who knows how long. It completely ruined all of the wood and everything surrounding it. We ended up cutting all the wood out, including some of the fiberglass that it was attached to. This was quite the chore, and it took a lot of cleanup. We left the tin sheeting underneath so we could lay a new floor on top of it. This is underneath, and this is the just the tin flooring that blocks the wood that's gonna be our actual floor. Um, we have this support, but it doesn't go all the way to the wall. So we might be welding onto this to extend it down, and then hopefully along this wall to maybe attach to that board somehow and then back. We ended up using one inch square tubing to create a new platform for the floor to lay on. We braced the corners where the majority of the weight would be from the water tank, the water heater, and the furnace. We then laid down insulation before installing a new wooden floor on top of it. We ended up cutting the area behind the driver's seat to allow for more room and better viewing from the rear view mirror. Jesse got to learn a new disgusting skill of fiberglassing, attaching the existing fiberglass to our new wooden floor. Here's some kitchen updates. We ended up installing a new rear window that slides to allow for better airflow, as well as new tile that you can find below. It sticks on and it was really easy. That sink was hard to find also. We ended up installing all new appliances. This includes a brand new water tank, new water pump, new water heater, and a brand new furnace. Here she is, coming along. Got all the cupboards painted. My stick on tile, so it's very lightweight. We are working on building our sofa, which goes right here on top of all of our brand new appliances, hot water tank, new furnace, hot water heater, blah, blah, blah. This will be a dinette, so two bench seats and a table in the middle. So I have a lot of work to do on the bed. Um, oh, I got a new shitter. Drop my cookie. Look at that shiny new sh shitter. Not even a turd in it yet. New faucet, that's leaking. We gotta fix that. I installed a new light. We ripped out all the windows, put in a brand new window back here. This one actually opens. The old one did not open. Got a new faucet, which was very hard to find that size. So yeah, renovating an old motorhome sounds easier than it really is. That's new insulation I had to put up in this really weird don't even know how to explain what it is. Anyways, black and white tribal theme will be my curtains, bedding, and decor. Um, I'm having all my cushions reupholstered by a lady here in town. It will be dark gray and then black vinyl on the bottom. Anyways, okay, bye. Jesse chose the daunting task of choosing the hottest day of the year to start scraping all of the old residue from around the vents. We ended up replacing all of the vents with new ones with electric fans. Here's just some general progress photos. We ended up getting all of the new lights in. We upgraded them all to LED with on and off switches and they are extremely bright against all of the white walls. As you can see here, we also got our new cushions finally on the sofa.
About five weeks in, the early part of September, we ended up having to stop working on it due to all the wildfires in the area. As you can see in this picture, they were relatively close to our house. I ended up finding a full float Toyota six lug rear axle and the frame off of an 86 motorhome. We were going to use this to replace the deathly five lug axle that came on our 83 as it's known to shear off. I ended up rebuilding the new axle. I used our old gears from our 83, the 410s, but I put on new drums, new rotors, new bearings, all new seals, new shocks, um, honestly pretty much everything. Jesse went ahead and ripped off all of the weather stripping that separates the clamshell design on the Sun Raider. I'm glad we did because we found a lot of moss and mold buildup behind it 